everyone, this is Elizabeth from Organized Chaos and I'm here to do another planner video. It has been a very, very long time um, and there were a lot of reasons for that, not the least of which is that I have been very sick for many, many weeks now, so if I cough during this video I apologize in advance, um, but I just didn't want to wait any longer to film this so I decided to go ahead. Um, I want to give a quick update before I get into actually um, planning out my week. So the biggest thing that um, I've changed with my planner since the last video or planner um, blog post or anything that I did um, is getting this binder system. Um, I've been using the disc bound system from ARC. Uh, the ARC system from Staples, sorry, um, for over three years now and I have definitely um, been sticking with it and using it every day so I decided it was about time that I invested a little more money to keep it sturdy and safe. So I went and got, I had a coupon and um, I got this um, hard leather cover. It's uh, the Martha Stewart line, which is also at Staples, and got this nice uh, teal color. Um, it's really nice because it has this band, which keeps it closed when I'm not using it. Um, so that's nice when I'm throwing it in my purse. It also has uh, pockets inside the front cover which is really nice and some slots. I've taken some stuff out that I keep in here normally, obviously that I can't show on the video, but um, the rest of the inside is pretty much the same as what I used to use. So I have been using for the last three years a poly notebook by the um, ARC brand at Staples, which is just this clear cover right here. So I have that inside to kind of keep the notebook pages flat, but um, I moved the zippered pocket, which is also the same one I used before, but I used to have it in the back. I now have it in the front so that I can keep pens and um, blank note cards and stamps and things like that in the front where um, it's bulky, but it doesn't, it stays inside the hardcover nicely, which is great. Um, but doesn't um, bend any of the pages. So I have my same cover that I printed the summer to use, um, and I have been making good use of this planner. Again, this year I've got my class schedule taped in. I've got my um, curriculum laid out for the year. I do this every summer. Um, kind of lay out just an overview of what I'm going to teach when for each grade. I also have the um, district scope and sequence with the skills and concepts we're supposed to cover in each grade level where I've gone through and marked off when which month I'm going to cover each skill and concept here. Um, and I've actually started putting more detailed versions of these plans in my store after getting a lot of requests for that. So I'll leave a link to that down below if you want to know um, what I teach when and how and all that kind of stuff. Um, but then I've got my monthly calendars. I do a lot more decorative stuff on the monthly calendar pages uh, because I don't have as much information that I have to cram into that space and it's kind of fun. There's usually some kind of holiday that I can decorate around and stuff like that. I just use washi tape. Sometimes I use paper from a paper pad. Um, do I have any? Yeah, there's some paper. Um, and then the little dollar, um, one dollar sticker books that you can get at Michael's, um, like this one right here. All of these are um, one dollar and you get hundreds of stickers in each one so that's really nice. Uh, this dashboard I made, you can find a tutorial for it on my blog, um, but it's the same one I made this summer with all my sticky notes. And then I've got my weekly pages, which is where I am going today. So 
That was weird. Okay, um, so I don't do a whole lot of heavy decorating with stickers or anything like that, but I do like to use some washi tape um, and occasionally some stickers. Um, I make these stickers myself. Most of this is pretty much the same format every week what I do because I just have set information that I need to get down every week no matter what but I do like kind of I usually have one starting point of some something that helps me decide on my theme and then I kind of go from there um, when you see paper over a whole day that's a day when I didn't have school so I had no lesson plans to write that day these are adorable for fall. Um, this is the week that is ending. I had election day was professional development, so no lessons. And then Friday was Veterans Day. And then this week coming up is the 14th through the 20th. Um, if you're going from a Monday to a Sunday. Um, I've designed these pages with the weekend together at the end um, of this page just to maximize the space for lesson planning. So it is a little weird being used to having a calendar with Sunday at one end, but it just makes it a lot easier for the lesson planning section. So anyway, let, I'm going to get these pages out of the way so that I can work on these. And let's get planning. Um, I'm going to speed up the rest of this video while I'm decorating and um, planning out my week just so that you don't have to sit here for um, a really, really long time. But um, my starting point for this week um, is some scrapbook paper that I got and I've got washi tape, some Avery labels that I've colored, and um, possibly some stickers that I'm thinking about using. I've picked out all of these based around the um, colors that are in that paper pad that I've picked out. Um, I've decided to use some larger scrapbook paper pieces this week, which I don't normally do. As you saw on my other pages, I usually just have tape and maybe a couple of little stickers in the corners. But um, it's been kind of a crazy time of year. Like I said, I've been um, sick and we're getting close to holiday season. There's just a lot going on, parent-teacher conferences, all kinds of stuff. So um, I thought I needed a little extra color and a little break from the fall that I've, uh, fall colors that I've been doing for several weeks. Plus next week is definitely going to be fall themed with Thanksgiving happening, so just time for a little change. Um, so I'm putting down some washi tape, um, and none of these came in any kind of coordinated set or anything, but I just found things that I had that had um, similar looking colors, and then I have a different washi tape. Um, to go along the bottom as well and I'm using one of those cards that they send you in the mail as like a promotion it's not an actual gift card um, that has any value or anything but um, I keep that with my planner supplies so that I can use it just to cut my tape basically and then I have this thicker blue washi that um, matches the blues and the greens in the paper pretty well and you saw me cut out that gold pineapple before which I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be able to use it yet but um, I am really hoping to so I wanted to add some gold over there um, and I'm pretty much filling up the notes section with this paper but um, I do usually write my notes actually on post-it notes and um, stick it in that notes section or I'll take a piece of paper um, and clip it with the magnetic clip that I have to that week. That way when I take notes and then I want to move it or refer to it um, another time, I can take it with me, stick it in another week or take it to a meeting or whatever. So um, 
I'll end up being able to do the same thing even though I've covered that up a little bit. So now I'm just figuring out which of those Avery labels I'm going to use to make little icon stickers. Um, I have two five-year-old, almost five-year-old um, <laughs> daughters, and so the girls and I uh, actually color these stickers together every now and then. It's kind of fun because you can just kind of scribble all over them. Um, and they end up looking kind of like a watercolor effect, which is nice. And then I have these icon stamps, tiny little stamps, uh, that I got from Etsy. So I just use those to make um, stickers. It just helps the information to stand out when I use different colors and icons to kind of break up the information because I put so much in a small space. Um, so I have little stickers with a computer on them to indicate blog posts and social media icons for posts that I want to make sure I put up during the week. And then I have uh, little icons for meetings, which this week is parent-teacher conferences on Thursday and Friday. And then I have that one I just put down is, I think it's actually supposed to be a mail truck, but um, I'm using it as a school bus to indicate one of my daughter's uh, field trips this week, which I have quickly learned I do need to note in my planner because they the teachers like me to pack their lunches in a brown bag sack lunch instead of um, in their lunch boxes on those days so they can throw everything away. So now I've got those kind of life events in that top section, which is pretty much everything besides the lesson plans themselves. And I'm going to use, I'm showing right now my favorite, favorite pen of the moment, which is the Frixion Ball Slim um, pens. They're erasable and they have a very fine tip, which I like, and they come in all these colors, which is perfect for me because I have a color that goes with each grade level. So orange is for sixth grade, yellow is for fifth grade, and so on. Um, and I use those colors for everything. I have the um, objectives, the I can statements, or whatever you want to call them, up in my classroom. Those are posted with those colors. And I use the colors in my planner and also on my class schedule um, when I write that down and um, or print it out for my planner or to post in my room. So everything is color coded that way. Makes it, again, it's just a lot easier when I have so much information in one place to have those colors that are consistent um, from week to week so that I can quickly find what I'm looking for when I'm trying to find information. Um, so there's my class schedule that I pulled out of my planner um, just to show you that I do use the same colors there and that's what I refer to. I put the um, letter the letter days like A, B, C, D day in the small boxes. So I've pulled out my monthly plans which, um, as you saw in the beginning of this video, I um, plan out my year in every grade over the summer. I write down kind of the major skills and concepts and activities that I'm going to cover in each month just to make sure I cover everything in the curriculum. Um, and what I've been doing this year is actually each month going through and typing out in detail all of the lesson activities I'm going to use um, I make all of the slides and visuals I'm going to project on the screen. I find all of the videos and resources that I need from blog posts and uh, YouTube videos and stuff that I've pinned on Pinterest that I want to use in the lessons. I make or find all of the worksheets and uh, printouts that I need and I put them all together and I've actually been putting those up in my store, uh, but it's been a great way to plan this year because then I just kind of sit down and plan everything out and gather all the resources in one go, 
which is faster than doing it from one week to the next. And then the rest of the month, I am set and I just take those plans and I pull from them. I just have to look and see what have I not done yet and figure out what my next step is going to be and write it in. And it's right there all ready for me. So if you want to see what I'm teaching in every grade, um, I have them up in my store. Um, I'll leave a link down below. But you can buy the whole set or by grade or um, by month. So those have been really, really awesome. I'm filling in some of the other information now, like my to-do list. And uh, I just realized the field trip is actually on Tuesday, not Wednesday. Now that I'm looking at my monthly calendar, so good to know. And then the conference information and a few other things that I already know I'm going to do. I'm not going to fill in the rest of those lesson plans just because it would take forever, but you get the idea. So now I'm just getting some washi tape to indicate um, when my girls are going to be going to visit their dad. I'm divorced, so we co-parent and they have a visitation schedule that I need to keep track of. Here's a little tip. If you find washi tape that you like but it's too thick, which of course, again, cramming lots of information into small space, it's a common problem, um, you can cut it with a paper trimmer and make it whatever size you want. So I'm cutting out little flags by folding it lengthwise and then cutting a little uh, slant in one side to make a triangle, if that makes sense, and putting those days down. So now I finally decided I'm going to be able to put that pineapple in. I wasn't sure because of how much of the to-do list space it's going to take up on my page, but I am going for it because I need that gold and purple in my life, and it's going to make me happy every time I open my planner. So I'm putting it in there, and um, I'm going to forego the stickers and stuff this week since I've added so many of these um, paper images. But I figure I can always add a post-it note if I need more space for my to-do lists. And, um, you know, it's just nice to change things up every now and then. Try different supplies and different formats just to keep it interesting and um, be creative with what I'm doing from week to week. I think now I am actually done with everything I'm going to do here right now. So let's stick these. week and this week very different feel all right I hope everyone enjoyed um, this video and if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned um, please leave a comment down below and if you like this video I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up it gives me a good idea of what kinds of things you like to see so that I know what to make in the future and if you want to find out when I make new things in the future, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also follow me um, on my blog and on social media. All the links will be down below, and I look forward to chatting with you. Happy planning, and have a wonderful week, guys. Bye!